Well, hello and welcome to my workshop. Now then, I want to put this binding around this body top. I mean, how hard can that be? Whew. Not sure how we're gonna do this. Now there's a couple of ways we could tackle this. One is that I could, after I've stuck the top on, go around the edge with a special router bit. Um, but the problem with that is, one is I don't have the special router bit. And the second thing is because it's got a slight arch on this top, that might dig into the sides of the guitar. So the other way of doing it is to put the binding on the top before I stick it on the guitar. And to do that, I need a special template. Um, now here's one I've prepared earlier. So I've taken quite a bit of time to create a template, which is approximately, say two mil smaller than the shape of the guitar. So my idea is that I'm gonna stick this onto my top and then route the top to the template. To do that, I've had to make myself another tool. But before we get into all of this routing business, I've got to cut out this neck pocket from this template. Do you know what, I think it's about time I go for a new era of precision woodworking. And I am doing my very best to get this template absolutely spot on so bear with me Okay, this template looks pretty good now. I mean, I want to make more of these guitars, so making this template is a good thing to do. Excellent. Let's see if the neck fits. It's just a little bit wider than this template. It's probably by about a millimetre. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not that worried about this because I can tidy up the top uh, once I've, I've routed it, so that's not a problem. I think this is going to be okay. I think I'm going to have a go at routing the top. Now I said at the beginning of the video that I had to make a tool. Well, it's really not a tool, I suppose. It's more like a fixture. It's a tabletop router fixture. Which uh, hopefully will fit on my... Uh, Black and Decker workmate. Rip that tight. Nice and firm. Looks good. I've got a fence that will slide up and down. Let's move that back there. And I've got the router. Now then, get that other one hooked. Push that down to the stop, and that just comes through with the bearing just sticking through uh, under the cover there. I'll plug the uh, vacuum in. Throw the wire through the hole. like that. Always very safety conscious so what I've got is a, a socket here for the router to go into with an on off switch and this plug will plug into my extension lead when I'm ready to go. So 
now I need to get the template stuck on the top blank something like that Now then, I don't like routers and uh, I don't like tabletop routers. So I'll film a little bit of it, but um, I'm gonna take my time with this. Okay, let's mask up. Well, that went a lot better than um, I thought it was going to go. Um, despite the fact that A, my router blade bit was a little bit blunt, so it's a bit burnt in some places, and uh, also I was trying to take too much wood off. So I should have cut it down a little bit more, but never mind, I've done it, and um, looks pretty good. So I've just got to try and get it off this template now. I'll spare you the details of that. Well, the router table worked okay. I was going to make a slight modification. I'm just going to put a couple of uh, very thin pieces of veneer just on these uh, plates just underneath that hold the, the, the router board in because the router just sunk a little bit underneath this edge and that caused me a few sort of uh, issues when I was turning corners and things. So let's just fix that while we're here. Yeah, that's much better. Well, there's no more room on the wall, so this is going to have to go down the end of the workshop. What would we do without workmates, hey? Now, all these binding strips have been rough cut, so I need to smooth them off and get them all down to the same thickness. This is an amazingly useful little jig um, that I got from Ben Crow. Um, he made one of these and uh, well, thank you Ben because it's an amazing little jig. Okay, I've got all these to the right width and uh, thickness. But I'm going to make my life a little bit more complicated, folks, because I want to add this light veneer between the body, well, the top and the binding. And I think the best way to approach this is to stick this veneer on first and then stick the binding on. So I'm going to clamp this down on the uh, radius surface. Okay, now I've got something to work to, so first thing to do is to stick that one on.
Okay, this is take two. Uh, I'm doing the other side, and so I'm going to try a different technique, and that's called um, glue as you go. So uh, I think the trouble is that the glue dries too quick, so I'm going to, it's quite warm at the moment. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on both sides and um, get, get the first bit stuck first. You know what I mean? Because this is a real fiddle, I tell you. This is a real fiddle. Okay, I'm just going to leave that to cure. Let's keep fingers crossed. In the meantime, I'm going to use this as a former to bend some of this uh, binding round. So uh, let's see if I can do that. Okay. I think this is going to be a, a, a slow process, but there's no point in rushing it. Um, I want to see as, if I can get it as good as I can possibly get it. Let's see. Well, good morning. Now then, this binding as uh, well, this veneer is stuck to the edge. Um, I need to tidy it up a bit, so I think I'm going to do that with a chisel. Um, I've got the bending iron on, so hopefully I can do the other side of the uh, the, the actual solid binding there. I think that is uh, rosewood. It's either rosewood or walnut. I can't remember now. Anyway, so let's get some chisels on this. Not entirely sure that a chisel is the best job for this, but uh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? sharpening <sighs> this seems to be doing the trick doing this it seems is to uh, just take it off with a chisel first I have tried a Stanley knife uh, it didn't really work so well that's fine just doing the the very end coming the other way so you don't chip it off um, and then once um, once I've taken the, the main chunk of the veneer off then I'm just using a scraper just to bring it down to the edge that seems to be working. got a couple of little issues I've got to sort out with this first of all I was a bit short there so I need to put a little bit of veneer in there um, hopefully you can see this the uh, it's on this side the glue's not really taken very well underneath there so I need to put some extra glue on that and then um, I've got to do these two end pieces
tell you what, it's been really dry in the UK over the last few months and I've got a huge crack up here in the floor of my workshop. I think the floor is separating. Let's just hope the workshop hangs together. <laughs> okay, well, I've done the bending. Now I've just got to secure this in position and leave it to, uh, to hold in that position. Now I found with the binding and with that veneer, what I should have done is start in the middle with the tape and work to the edges uh, because that way you don't have any sort of kinks created halfway through, if you know what I mean. So let's practice what I preach. Do that. Now I've just got to do these end bits. Okay, well I've got all the bits of wood bent now that I need. Um, just need to leave these to settle. Okay, I've got all the veneer on. Now it's time to put the binding on. So this is the one I did yesterday. Whew, let's see if we can fit it. Wow, this is going to be interesting. I am putting the glue on fairly thick <laughs> because with the veneer I came across a couple of spots where there wasn't any glue and so I've had to uh, sort that out. Um, I'm going to glue it round to the joint there but um, I'm not going to attempt to do any sort of jointing at the moment. And I'm going to work from the middle, or at least from this point here, with the tape. And of course it would have helped if I got some tape ready to go. Okay. I'm going to try putting some of this on some vinyl floor just to really pull that in tight. I'm trying to avoid trapping my fingers in it. Okay. Continue on round. Just checking as I go round that I've got glue squeezing out. And I think it, it, it's looking pretty good so far. Well, I can't see any gaps, so uh, all I can do now is wait and see. Okay, let's have a look at this bridge. Now then. There's my tail stop and I want bridge a bridge out of this piece of a van coal. I don't want a big clunky bridge. I want something that looks really nice. I want some adjustment though. I want to be able to go up and down and back and forth. And I'm just wondering whether I can use bits from this with a collection of bits of old metal I've got and this piece of wood to make a bridge that would allow me to go up and down and adjust the intonation without looking too clunky. Now my plan will fail at the first hurdle if I can't get these fittings out of this old bridge. So let's just see if I can. Oh look at that. Magic. Now I need to get some precise measurements. 
So that's 8mm wide by 8mm deep or long from one end to the other is 62 and the central gaps are four okay you should be able to draw that up okay just to summarize where I'm at I've spent most of the afternoon drawing out how this bridge is going to look I'm going to use these string inserts I'm going to use these tiny little uh, bolts hex head bolts for adjusting the height so I've got height and intonation adjustment I've uh, drawn double the size the uh, uh, side view of how the thing will look the lowest height that I'm going to be able to get is down to about 15 mil and I've got to measure all my other guitars and that's about right um, I mean I might have to shim the neck to uh, adjust the height finally of the strings but um, I think I'm getting there it's getting a bit late in the day today so with the binding halfway through and the bridge just about planned out I think I'm going to call this video a day because I don't want the videos to go on too long thank you very much for watching please don't forget to hit subscribe and um, well stay tuned because there's a lot to do on this guitar see you soon cheers <laughs>